Okay, so um, it is Saturday morning, so I'm by myself today, so there'll be some some crafty filming for that. Uh, I am, so we're in kind of a bind. We poured for phase yesterday, and they want some pans now. The issue is the dually has some problems. It's not ready to go to Jackson yet. It's throwing a code, and I can tell it's not firing quite right, so I don't want to drive it that far. Um, I'm, I've got to get it fixed. I don't know what it is yet. So I also have to fix today the heater on the black pickup because that was really cold coming back last night. By the time we got back, it was like negative four, and it was cold. So that's what I'm working on today, the plan. I'm trying to make, because I can't take the pans over on the flatbed, I'm trying to take them on the black pickup. And the black pickup, you can't take a trailer over the pass, so I have to be able to put them in the bed. And because it's not a flatbed, I don't really have a way to do that. So I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I think the plan is I'm going to fabricate a kind of a makeshift flatbed, but it's gonna go, it's gonna be built up off the bottom and you're gonna be able to take it out that sits along the top. So this all happened last night in my head. So there's not a lot of thought that's gone into this. So I figured we'll take you along. You can see how it goes. It's probably not gonna, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, mistakes made along the way, but uh, but I'm in a bind because I have to have it for Monday morning. I have to bring the pans over to Jackson on Monday, so I have to finish it today. So we're gonna use some scrap metal we have around. I think it should work out, but um, I'm optimistic. Desperate situations yield the quickest results. So I also lied, I'm not totally by myself. I've got Clark helping. Hi. <laughs> so, fabrication specialist, that's him. Okay, so I got my tape measure. Um, I'm gonna kind of take you through the measurements I have to take. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get it in there just because I have to build it big enough for a pan and I have to build it strong enough to carry a loaded pan, I guess is what we're gonna try. So um, I have to build it, you can see Dusty's in the back, he's on the toolbox. I have to build it behind the toolbox with room to open that and then around the wheel wells. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky. So we're gonna take some measurements under here. You can see this is, we're trying to make sure all the weight is right on the frame, that we're not doing anything that we shouldn't. And actually, so I put in this gooseneck, so we're gonna put most of the weight right on that. And and I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet because I've never done anything like it, but I'm gonna try to, um, well, if you can see me, I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet because I've never done it before, but I'm gonna try to make it so you can set it on the gooseneck ball and then torque it down on there. So that's what holds it in place. Like I said, I've never done that before, so We'll see if I can make that work, but that would be ideal because then it would be totally secure as much as the gooseneck is, which is a really integral part of the setup. So anyway, we'll get rolling. Okay, so this is not gonna make a ton of sense, but I think I have my design figured out. So I have more pictures than this, but this is what the bottom of the frame's gonna look like. And then I just have my dimensions in my head of what where my studs need to be. Um, so this is just what I kind of have laying around. I used these a long time ago, but they're really good metal, but this is going to be the bottom. These are going to be the vertical supports. Um, these used to be some, so back in the day I fabbed up some sawhorses for a camp camper I had. And anyway, that's what these are from. So I'm going to use these for the vertical supports. These will be my horizontals on the bed. And then I have a bunch of extras, so we're gonna get started. It needs to be three feet wide because that's how wide my frame is. So that's where my main supports are gonna be and then the vertical's gonna be right off of that. I'm, I'm kind of rolling through here. It's actually going not too bad. So I'm a terrible welder. I mean, just, I'm just really bad at welding. 
However, it's not coming too bad. I mean, uh, that's not terrible, terrible. It's not great, but it will, it, structurally it's perfect. So I'll grind that off and it should be just fine. It's a really deep weld at least. So it's probably overly strong. But anyway, um, I made sure I got my, my piece of metal exactly straight. Oh, you can't see it. There you go. I made sure I got them exactly straight because I'm dealing with smaller pieces. And uh, I'm going to go start marking out where my other cuts need to be. Not cuts, where my other joints need to be. And I'll start tacking those together and get kind of a subframe built. So um, I have, well, I guess I'll let you see it. So this is it right here. I have it in the bed. Um, that's just the base. I don't even have the middle parts in, but I've measured them and marked them. So now I'm gonna start cutting my bigger stuff. Those are my verticals. Okay, so um, I had to pause for a little bit, but I've got my first vertical on. I made sure it was straight, so it's really square. I mean, you can see it looks perfect. So it's kind of slow going because I'm not really a fabrication guy, but it's going, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I've got, I'll point this as you can see it, all six studs on. And I think uh, I'm gonna go through and double check my welds just to make sure we're all good. Um, but I think that's all I can do until that other metal gets here. So Jordan's showing up later tonight and I'll come back out and finish it up. But um, you can see it's dark outside. It's getting pretty late. So, so I'm gonna go through and double check and then kind of get things tidied up. That way I'm good to go when she gets here. Okay, so we're back at it. We're trying to wrap this up uh, right now. The metal just got here, so you can see this is the new part. Um, so I have a couple of those. And then I have the others down here, so we'll get, we're trying to keep the door closed right now because it's really cold. So we're gonna get those welded on and hopefully put it in the truck today. And we might not even put our final, our sheet metal on the top. I'm still trying to decide for tomorrow we might just put this in pans, but we'll see what happens. Cut perfect, so I'm gonna make sure my frame is totally level. I've shimmed it up a little bit. Got a grinder wheel under here. And we're all level, so now I can level the top and know that it's exact. hard because you just once you move you just stand in front of the camera <laughs> every time I move you somehow find your way to like just stand in front of it
good about it? I think so. I think structurally it's great. It needs a little bit of triangulation on these, but I think it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm headed over to, to put those pans on. It's starting to get late. I mean, it's plenty dark outside, so I'm a little bit under the gun here, so I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So hopefully we get it all done. Otherwise, we don't really have another option. So, um, they're just not touching right here, but that's okay. I'm gonna strap them down. The nice thing is, I can just go from here to here. I think it looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? It looks good. I think it's gonna hold them just fine. It doesn't move. It's pretty solid. So, um, this will work for tonight, and then tomorrow I'll come back and finish my other stuff, and it should be good to go.